In this video today we're going to go over the product attributes, adding products, adding images, and uh, linking all the variations of uh, shop products. Uh, so first uh, we're going to need to log in uh, the back end of the website lionbynature.com. So we'll go in a new tab lionbynature.com. We'll hit forward slash wp dash admin. Hit the enter button. From here, you're going to be asked for a username and password. So we're going to type in Dina or admin or your username and enter in your password. Okay, let's give you a brief, brief overview of WordPress. This is your dashboard. Um, pretty much tells you things that are going on with WordPress, the content management system. Tells you your um, shopping. Uh, cart, how many products, how many categories and attributes, etc. Uh, orders, etc. Stuff. You're probably not going to really use this, but it's here. So, your first section here is posts. This is where you would write your blogs. Uh, you see, as I hover over here, you have all posts to show all your bro uh, all your blogs. Add new, set categories for your blogs, and add tags for your posts. So second section uh, is portfolio if you're gonna have like a portfolio of different items showing like a gallery of images you could set the portfolio here by adding new categories and also attributes media this is your media library uh, and this is all your photos or documents are stored in a media folder um, so that's where you're gonna want to upload all your uh, pictures etc so slider will allow you all slides add new slider locations, slide ordering, your pages, sh show all your pages and you could also add new pages here. Comments are for people that are like leaving re uh, reviews which you could approve, deny, uh, spam them, etc, etc. Products. This is where you're gonna have your shop category. So you have your products, your add product categories, tags, shipping classes, and attributes. Uh, that's where you're going to do everything here. So uh, and that's where we're going to be touching bases here. So if we go to products, click on all products, show you all the products. Um, if you hover over them, you'll see that you could edit, quick edit, trash, duplicate, view, etc, etc. So, or by clicking on the main link, you can actually view the product as well. So. Uh, this is a sample product that we did make um, when you're here in the office. So, um, at first, since I'm going to pretty much redo this again, so I'm going to trash this one and give you another example. So, uh, let me go ahead and trash it by clicking this button. So, it is now gone. To add a new product, we're going to click the button at the top that says Add Product. this is going to be your product name so we'll put sample name this is going to be your description your main description area so we'll type in this is the main description area please write down your description here okay now to the right you'll see a section that says product categories we need to make sure that they are associated with the correct links on your website so um, say for instance it's a bow tie we are going to want to check one it's a bow tie and what type of bow tie is it diamond skinny traditional let's just say it's a traditional one so from here we're going to want to put in a skew so we'll put bow tie one we will set the price. We could set the regular price to $35. We can make a sale price of $25 by typing in the sale price. Inventory on the tab to the left. Do you want to enable stock management if you only have a few different products, uh, etc., 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 um, or etc.? But um, if you, these are custom made and you make to order, I wouldn't play with the stock at all. Well, let me go back here too as well. General, since it, there's different variations of this bow tie, we need to tell the system that this is a variable product. 
Uh, so meaning they could customize the product, small, large, extra large, different colors, etc. So we will type in as a variable product. You'll notice how it disappear the pricing. Pricing disappears because it's now a variable product and it depends on the colors or forms of the product. Maybe one thing's cheaper than another. So we'll set the prices and uh, variations. Um, but before we skip over to the variations, uh, we want to do the attributes to say what type of variations are there. So clicking on the attributes tab, we can drop down over here where it says custom product attribute. If you want to give it something brand new that's not in your uh, system yet, um, you can go here and click add. However, we already have the system in our settings. So right here, we want to do size. Let's hit add size. We want to hit visible and use for variations. We could select all our sizes uh, and figure out what sizes are available. So let's say we don't have it in the lar extra large category. So we just hit the X button to remove these and we're done here. To add another attribute, say for instance color, we'll click this again and hit color. We'll hit add also put it visible on the product page and use for variations. We'll select all. Let's just say we have it in black and blue. So we'll get rid of these by clicking the X button. Now that we have this here, we could hit the Save Attributes button. And that tells the system, okay, we have these large, medium, small, black, and blue. Now we'll set the variations. This, if you have them all in the same different um, variations, small, large, extra large, and both available in both colors all the way across the board. We could just hit link all variations and we could create link all variations. So you, it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to do that? And we're going to say yes. Okay. So six variations have added. We could hit okay. Now you're going to see large black, medium black, small black, large blue, medium blue, small blue. So from here you could give it a quantity if you are going to manage stock but we're not managing stock so we could put in our prices $35. Now we could put in our sale price $25. From here we will also do it on every one of these. Regular price $35, sale price $25. Again $35, $25, 35, 25, 35, 25, 35, 25, and then it is set. So we don't need to ha hit save because once we update the product, um, it's going to go ahead and save all these. So um, you'll see that these are all enabled uh, as well. So once that's done, at the very bottom you have a short description so we'll put in this is a sample sh short description here please write content okay so that is our short description now we move up to the top here and we'll, let's set an image for it so we want to set a featured image you have two different categories here featured image and and product gallery Featured image will be the first image that you see when you're scrolling through your shop. Product gallery are the additional photo views of this product. So first we want to set our featured image. Um, we'll use this one. Okay. Uh, so this can be the featured image that you see on your screen. We'll set it as featured. Now it's your featured image. To add additional pictures of the same product, hit add product gallery. And let's add this one and this one. You can, you can click on multiple by holding control and click the ones that you want. Hit add to gallery. Then scroll all the way to the top and hit publish. So that's going to be saved. And it is enabled. So we want to view this product by clicking this button, right clicking, and hit open link a new tab. Now you see it is on sale. It shows the sample name, that's for your title. 
Here is your short description. Here's your different variations. Here's the categories it's in. Here's the main description. And here's your extra product views. So that's how you insert a product. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. I'll make another video for you to walk you through additional steps. Thank you.